In this video, we're going to look at three different ATM stop strategies, uh, automated trading strategies that you can create in Ninja Trader 8 and save them as templates so you can use them in the future. First one's going to be a simple stop strategy, just creating a stop loss. Second one's going to be an auto trailing stop loss where it will follow the price. And the third one's going to be auto break even and auto trailing together so at some point you will bring your stop up to at the money or in the money and then after another point that you predetermine that reaches it will start trailing your trade so let's get started I'm going to demonstrate how to create a simple stop loss in Ninja Trader 8 on the chart so the first thing you want to do is make sure you have this section here open if it's not open go up here you notice you can turn it off turn it on you have the option to keep it hidden if you want so we want it on then we want to come under where it says ATM strategy click on custom here we're going to determine the amount of orders that we want to place I'm just going to leave it at one and we have the option for the perimeter type to do our stops and ticks Delta price and value. I'm going to leave it at ticks. And we're going to create a 12 point stop loss. And I'm going to leave profit zero. You can do a profit target too, as well. But for this example, I'm going to use a zero. And then you just click OK. You notice under ATM strategy, custom came up with an explanation mark that lets you know that that is active. So what we're going to do is we're going to sell market because market is going up and I want to demonstrate the stop. So we're going to sell the market. And let me separate this a little bit so we can see this. You'll notice I, the, I bought the price at uh, 69.88 and it set the stop at 69.91. Or excuse me, I bought it sixteen nine eight, yeah, and nine ninety one. So that's twelve points difference there. It's going to go up here and it's going to trigger it hopefully in a minute. Well, I'll just demonstrate something else you can do. You can move this by clicking on it, holding your holding your mouse button down, and drag, and then click again. And we're just going to make it hopefully go up there and hit it and knock us out. That's how, that's how you can trail uh, trail your trade as well manually. Manually trail your trade. So let's manually trail the trade. Click, drag, bring it to even. And there, we're out. Okay, so that's how that works. Now, if you wanted to use this for future, you could just save as template click on edit over here save as template we're just going to call this simple stop loss you can name it whatever uh, you desire to make it memorable so you'll know and you'll notice now from your drop down you can select that for in the future and if you buy market's going to do the same thing it's going to place the same thing we have our stop down here and the price up here there's a 12 tick difference between them and that's all there is to it we're going to demonstrate how to place an ATM auto trail stop onto the charts in Ninja Trader 8 now first thing you want to do is make sure this section's open your chart trader and if it's not simply go up here and it might be off turn it on and you want to come over to where it says ATM strategy drop down click custom and the first thing we want to do is we want to uh, place the amount of orders that we want to do so I'm going to leave this at one stop loss is going to be 20 ticks now you can choose delta price and value as well but I'm just going to leave it at ticks and I'm profit, I'm going to leave it zero. I'm going to let my stop become my uh, profit target as well. And then come over here to stop strategy. 
and check or select auto trail once that opens up you're going to see another box now on this auto trail after uh, it gets to a certain depth into the money I, I want it to change my stop from 20 to 12 12 ticks so it's going to be when it gets 16 points or excuse me 16 ticks into the money frequency is going to be one that means it's going to trail tick by tick money moves one tick in my favor the stops going to move up one tick and we'll click OK and then click OK and you'll notice now under ATM strategy you have custom with a little explanation mark there that means it's active so what that means if I go by market it's going to automatically throw this trail and stop in there so let's do that and you'll notice we're filled and we have a trailing stop 20 points below. Now, from this point, I've pre-recorded a demonstration of this because I want to be able to mark it up and explain the mechanics of this. So let's get to that point. Okay, we're this is pre-recorded, but we're about to place the order that we just made, the trailing order that we just made. And the first thing I want you to explain about these trailing orders is if you remember, there was two parts to it. These two parts means it's actually two different orders, and the, uh, the original order will be replaced by the trailing order when the targets are met. So let's watch this happen. We're going to sell the market here. And notice now, sold the market, got a contract short at 69.42. It automatically put my stop loss at 69.47, which is 20 ticks away or five points away right 42 47 42 from 47 is five so now once this price reaches about 69.38 somewhere up in here somewhere in this point here once it reaches that which is uh, 16 points into the money which is what we set on the on the second part of this trail order that we want it to trigger once this gets 16 points into the money once the once the money is 16 points deep in our favor it's going to trigger and that will be right at about 16 9 38 so let's watch this And there it triggered it, 16938. Now notice when it triggered it at 16938, our stop is at 16941. So instead of being 20 ticks away or five points away, it is now uh, four points away. Because we, we changed our stop lot or three excuse me, three points away. 30 41 from 38. 38 from 41 is three. If you remember, we changed our stop loss on the second part of the order, which is a second order altogether. We changed it to 12. So the point spread between the stop loss and the money is now 12. And at, from this point on, as it moves in our favor, the stop loss will trail tick for tick. Example, for if price goes to 69.37, the stop will move to 69.40. Price goes to 69.36.75, the uh, the stop will move to 69, uh, 69.39.75, so forth and so on. So let's watch this happen. See how it's doing that? And that's it. And we got stopped out. And we took a profit on that one. But that's what trailing stops are good for set up an order that's going to give us a stop loss and then at some point in the trade it's going to bring us to break even plus one one point into the money that way our commissions are covered and then uh, as it gets into the money it's going to readjust our stop and then eventually stop us out now I pre-recorded the trade but I'm going to show you how to set this up 
come over here to ATM strategy click on custom the first thing we want to determine is how many contracts we want to trade we want to trade one for this video and we're going to set the stop loss at four points so when we place the trade or excuse me four ticks ticks price value four ticks away so when we place the trade it's going to automatically create a stop loss for us this is going to be three different orders of stop loss an auto break even and then a trail stop so keep that in mind these are three different orders that are going to be created in one routine then we're going to come over here and click our uh, strategy and it's going to be auto break even plus auto trail now here we want to determine on the first one how far in the money do we want it, the price to move before it moves our stop loss to auto break even so I'm going to say we want to get four points in the money because if you remember we set our stop loss at four points so once we're four points in the money we want this uh, auto break even to replace our original stop loss order and we want to bring it one uh, excuse me four ticks in the money four ticks in the money and we want to bring it into one tick in the money cover our commissions right and then once this is met how far in the money do we want to go before we're going to readjust our stop loss and we're going to readjust it to three ticks we want it to readjust to three ticks after it gets six ticks deep in the money and frequency is going to be one in other words it's going to move for every tick the money moves in our favor it's, it's going to move our stop loss one tick so it's just going to trail it tick for tick and we're going to click OK I'm going to turn on this pre-recorded video and show you how it works and we'll stop it slow it down that's why I pre-recorded it so I can stop it slow it down and talk about things okay so here I'm coming and I'm going to buy the market and you notice we now have remember we had four ticks or one point so we're at uh, 6956.25 I'm on the MNQ here and we're one point behind or four ticks behind by the way this is a very bad strategy don't follow it I'm pulling this out of these numbers out of the air matter of fact this is a horrible strategy for MNQ but I'm just doing this for the sake of the video okay so we see our original first order stop loss order is four ticks behind now we will keep on going okay now you see it moved uh we were at 16956.25 it moved to 16957.25 and that moved our stop loss to break even plus one tick so now our commissions are covered so let's keep on going and now when we get six more ticks into the money it's going to take this stop loss and start trailing tick for tick it's going to move it up. It's going to uh, set our stop loss three t three ticks behind. Because right now we're still four ticks behind. Because we just that was just the second order. The third order is going to be our uh, our our auto trailing. So. Okay, you see now. It moved up as far as it needed to move to get us uh, it moved up to six ticks it readjusted our trail stop to be three ticks behind 57 57 75 we'll keep on going and there we're taken out and that's all there is to it if this has helped you how about leaving a like subscribe leave a thumbs up you have a good day